Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you the unboxing and setup of my first 3D printer, Ender 3 Max, which also comes with the Creality Wi-Fi box. At the end of this video, I will show some test prints and reason to choose this printer in 2022. Inside the box, we have some test filaments, tools, user manuals. It also comes with the manual power supply. It comes with the basic LCD display and the plastic filament spool holder. It was bit difficult to take out the base and top of the printer since the cables are attached to each other. This printer is almost 70% assembled. It may take only maximum 15 to 20 minutes to fully assemble. Inside this pack, we have the installation guide and a scrapper, a cutter, some tools for installation and maintenance. It also comes with a nozzle cleaner, allen bolts and one additional nozzle and a AGP memory card with a card reader. Before installing the printer, I removed the glass bed. And I took the top aluminum profile and inserted into the slot. And I installed the allen bolts. Next I install the power supply. Make sure the proper voltage is selected in the sliding switch. Then connect the power cables at the bottom of the printer. Installing the LCD module is very simple by connecting the single ribbon cable and two screws into the aluminum profile. Next with the help of user manual, I install the filament sensor, stepper motor and limit switch connectors. Then I install the filament spool holder just by sliding into the aluminum profile. And then I install the glass bed back to the printer. With this step, the installation is now complete. It only took 15 minutes to set this up. Next, I connected the power connector and turned it on. Before making any move, make sure the cables are free to move and does not hitting any build plate or anything else. Now I am going to level the bed which is the hardest part in any 3D printer to start with. First go to the menu and select auto home. And once it is in the home position, then select the option disable stepper which will allow you to move the build plate and print head. Now level the bed at 4 corners by rotating the knobs under the build plate. I used the A4 sheet for bed leveling. The paper should not move too freely or too tight. It should touch the nozzle and move with slight tension. And repeat it for all 4 corner and middle until you get the each level on all sides. To insert the filament, preheat the nozzle and move the z-axis upwards. I am using the E's and PLA filament. Once the nozzle is preheated, insert the filament into the extruder until the filament comes out from the nozzle.
I inserted the SD card and printed the calibration cube first. Initially the filament didn't stick into the bed and after the bed leveling and cleaning the bed, it works. I could finally print the cube. But the filament slightly popped at the bottom. And after I printed the LCD cover, which printed really great without any issues and glass bed pattern at the print looks really good. And then I installed the LCD cover into the printer. The Ender 3 Max also comes with the Creality Wi-Fi box. Inside, there is a user manual and the Wi-Fi box itself. It also comes with the two USB cables and mini USB Type-B converter. I will also try to make a separate video on this Wi-Fi box. I tried some time-lapse videos but there was lots of stringing so I have to learn more on Cura print settings to get the best out of it. Here are some useful prints that I printed with this Ender 3 Max. The reason I choose this printer is first the value for money and the large build volume. At this price you cannot get this much build volume in any printer. Since it was almost 2 years from the launch the price was dropped more. If you are in budget and you want to learn more on upgrading and learn more on setting up the printer you can definitely go with this. Or if you want to get the perfect print out of the box, then you have to go with the Ender 3 S1 series. Thank you for watching this video.